Well, multiple nonprofits in Clayton County helped transport nearly 30 families who were staying long term at the Howard Johnson Hotel downtown into new housing. This after the hotel's management said it had to undergo renovations and guests say they were given a one day notice. But the nonprofits say they were already working very hard to place them somewhere new. Palacero spoke with them about how they made all of this happen. As the Howard Johnson Hotel off Phoenix Boulevard began renovations last week, 29 chronically homeless families who were staying there were being relocated into new hotels thanks to agencies Hearts to Nourish Hope and Ujima Way. The nonprofits try to help find families safe and stable homes. It's our understanding basically what happened, they were doing renovations at the, at the hotel and they had a plan that was approved but then there were changes so because of the renovations they couldn't partially shut down and open. Deborah Anglin and Daryl Starks with those nonprofits say they found out Saturday, June 3rd, that guests had to be out that following Tuesday. So they immediately started looking for plan B. There's just so many pieces that go into it. We had to get the funding right. We had to make sure that our accounts were set up. Those things don't happen overnight and they don't happen on the, you know, on the weekend. The manager's not there, the owner's not there. But they say by Tuesday, June 6th, they were able to move those families and their belongings with vans, Uber Excels, and a borrowed U-Haul. Many people have been evicted, displaced for whatever reason, and now that's where they're living in hotels. So they can't afford apartments, so they can't qualify for apartments. We we're requiring three, three and a half to five times the rent to move in. So a lot of people are really stuck uh, with nowhere to go. They say the need has just increased as affordable housing has become harder to find throughout the pandemic. It's sad to say, but hotels are now hospitals. They're nursing homes. They're everything because those places are often full. One-stop shop for housing, which is very unfortunate in a lot of ways, but we're just glad to be able to use them because that's what we have so people aren't in their cars or on the streets. For more information on these agencies and how you can help them, head on over to 11alive.com. In Clayton County, Powell Cyril, 11alive News.